What is up, Millie Squad? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're doing another kind of meat video, but it's like exposing James Charles for what he did. And um, yeah, so there's this uh, YouTuber called Tati. Um, she was one of James' biggest supporters. Um, she helped James with everything. Also, her husband s helped james charles with everything as well but james charles he went in competition with tati he like went and sold vitamins that were in competition with tati's vitamins and i'm like okay that's not that bad but like why would you go into competition with one of your friends slash supporters that helped you to get to where you are now because tati if it wasn't for tati there would be no james charles because he said she helped him out when he was 17 18 and he didn't know what to do and he dm'd tati saying hey i'm one of your biggest supporters i love what you're doing and yeah and then james charles out of nowhere boom backstabs her and i'm like damn you backstab your own friend like that <sighs> james charles right now is dying if you don't know no he the time i'm recording this video he lost over 1.1 million subscribers and james charles i'm sorry you don't deserve this but like i don't know why he would do that and the thing i said where i said um without tati there would be no james charles well yeah she in her video in the beginning she started giving james shout outs to his channel shout outs to use his code for um 10 off 20 off his makeup palette and yeah i'm gonna show you that clip right now james is here to uh do my bridal makeup which is what i am wearing right now oh. um i just wanted to congratulate you on almost a million on instagram i want to say huge congratulations to james charles if you have not checked his channel out on youtube and you want to be inspired he's a freaking teenager and he's like a genius with makeup james charles is the face of their holiday collection and i saw him do a really cool look and it just made me want to try this palette we we are going to be taking a first look at the new Morphe palette. You Hello. So I'm so scared. Oh my gosh! Thank you. Like it? It looks so gorgeous. Do you like I it? I love it. Sorry, James. I'm on to another Morphe palette, but you guys can still use code James for 10% off this one. I'm the friend that's encouraging you guys to use code James for 10% off of savings. You can use anybody's code. Use, you know, James's code. I'm wearing my sister's apparel. Also, she helped him out with money. When he didn't have money to afford a flight for her wedding, she paid for it. And also, he, like, everyone that he's friends with um, didn't like him. They didn't like him before he blew up. That's what she said in this clip I'm gonna show you right now. He always told me that I was the reason that he wanted to get into makeup and I was the reason that he was inspired to start his channel and that my channel was one of his favorites and he just loved watching me. And it was just nice to hear, to be honest. I was like, wow, like this kid, like really, like I'm like the, the grown up inspiration, like this cool, like how can I help you? There's a huge age gap between me and James Charles. And it's so funny because back in the beginning, my husband was like, um, like, you know, you're not best friends with him. Like he's a kid. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm like, but he's really like looking for some help, some guidance. I made the choice that I was gonna help him. Like a lot of people online were crapping all over him. Back in the day, um, he had drama with Nikita Dragon. Uh, you know, I've never screwed him over. I've never publicly humiliated him. I've never done any of that. And a lot of people who are buddy-buddy with him right now have not always had his best interest. They didn't want him to succeed. They saw this new kid coming up and they're like, no, this is not gonna happen. And I was constantly like, you're talented. You've got this, keep going. What do you need? How can I help you? I had 
a lot of influence at the time. You know, my channel was much bigger. Come on my channel, do my makeup. You know, we started talking pre-Cover Girl, so we're talking before everything exploded. Um, and I had his back back then. I invited him to my wedding. Um, he didn't have money for the flight or hotel, so I paid for that happily. Also, in the video she posted on James Charles, she said that her own husband helped out James Charles with business when all businesses, like huge businesses, started contacting him. And when one of his managers, he didn't like him and uh, 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 he, he wanted Tati's husband to manage him. But I'll let her explain that really carefully. Um, roll the clip. Who he ran an agency. Um, he was the VP of motion pictures. He knows the industry through and through. I don't talk about that end of my husband's career too often. He's so gifted with uh, his view of how deals, contracts, business development, he's a master at it. And I love his brilliant mind. He was mentored by Roland Perkins, who was one of the original founders of CAA. He has built businesses and sold them. He is so insanely intelligent. Anytime that James would need help, he'd be like, dad, what should I do? And he'd come over and he'd be like, I don't like my manager, will you manage me? And James is like, no, I'm not doing that. I don't do that anymore. But your family, how can I help you? My husband would spend hours on the phone, looking over contracts, getting him in a better position. So we helped him get into a style hall back when basically no one wanted to work with him because of his Ebola scandal. And everyone was really afraid that he was very toxic. But once again, you know, we had his back. They got a boutique management around him. They finally taught him how to monetize his videos. He was making $90 a video, and because of me and my husband, he was making $2,500 immediately from a switch being flipped because his former management did not go in and do that for him. So that's just like a small sample of some of the things that we've done for James Charles. And for her, the final straw was when James Charles was being rude in front of her, her family, her childhood friends, everyone she cared about. James Charles was being rude in front of them, saying that he would have sex with a male that was straight. And he didn't even care if he was straight. He had, he said he had the money and he was famous so he can get any male he wanted. Uh, I'll let her explain it uh, herself that his audience is made up of 12 to 14 year olds, like dominantly, and he is role modeling to them his behavior. His behavior online is what they are seeing and what they're emulating as how they should behave to be successful and adored by the masses. Everything is over-sexualized and um, that's the huge underlayer to this all that I finally have had enough. The last phone conversation that James Charles and I had, he said some things telling me about a situation that happened in Seattle at my birthday and it literally made me want to vomit. Oh my God, you tried to trick a straight man into thinking he's gay yet again and somehow you're the victim. You know, it's really disgusting to manipulate someone's sexuality, especially when they are still, you know, emerging into adulthood and don't quite have everything figured out. You are using your fame, your power, your money to play with people's emotions. You're threatening to ruin them. You're threatening to embarrass them. And you're doing that to have them behave sexually in your favor, even if they're straight. And you know what? That's not okay. That behavior is not okay. Whether you're a woman, a man, gay, straight, bi, whatever sexual orientation you are, that is your personal call and it is not someone else's to take. It's not someone else's to play with. It's not someone else's to mess with. I was shocked that James even then was saying to his dad, that every man is a little bit gay and that there's no such thing as a straight man. And you know, his dad's like, you're wrong, James, you're wrong. If someone who is very masculine and has been with women decides that they're bisexual, that they want to explore, that's fine, like so be it. But 
it, again, it's just like, it's not yours to take. So talking about that at the dinner table with his parents was kind of weird. Him talking explicitly about sex and things that he would like to do and like, and you did it at my birthday dinner. And I made excuses for you then. You were talking in detail about things you wanted to do to the waiter. And when I said, James, he's straight. Your response was, doesn't matter, I'm a celebrity. So freaking gross. And you said that in front of my family, in front of my childhood friends. I had to call every one of them up the next morning and apologize on your behalf because it was so uncomfortable. And I've continued to do that, but it's just all kind of stacking up right now like this. <sighs> this surprises me, man. Like, to be honest, I never liked James Charles, but he doesn't deserve this, man. Like. How are you gonna do this to one of your best friends that helped you out with everything, that gave you a career, that gave you a name, gave you a company, or like helped you to get a better manager? How are you gonna do that to a friend? Like, that's really disgusting, James. I never liked you, but like, you don't deserve this. No one deserves this. Like, man, I don't know what to say. But then, after she made that video, like an hour later, uh, he uploaded a video uh, saying sorry. But I don't believe it. No one believes it. Um, because they say he was acting. And yes, of course, it looks like he was acting. You can see the way he turns on the camera. The, his body language. Everything. You can see it, that he's acting. He He's acting. Not sorry. I'll I'll show you the clip right now. Hi all, James here. Um, I'm currently traveling abroad and just woke up, but I wanted to sit down and make a video addressing everything that's going on right now. Um, because I owe everybody, I owe everybody an explanation, um, but most importantly, I owe two important people um, an apology. To Tati and James Westbrook, um, I'm sorry for everything that is going on and everything that I've put you through over the past few weeks. I met Tati and James almost three years ago now, when I was first coming into the industry. And I need you to know that. I need you to know that. And the same thing goes for Tati as well, who is an amazing person and truly does want the best for everybody around her. And I'm so disappointed in myself that I hurt her. Times when I've had to address things in the past, I've acted out of impulse and I've gone off and tried to pull receipts or facts or screenshots and play the victim. And yeah, guys, he, as you guys saw, he was like fake pausing, like, oh, um, what should I say next? Like, he was thinking of what to say next, biting his lips. You could tell if, like, some people bite their lips when they're lying. Some people do that. And, like, he was, like, having trouble breathing. And I'm like, I, this is fake. Freaking fake. Like, come on, bro. And he, like, started sniffling like he was about to cry. Like, no, this is fake, James. Like, come on. But, like, you have to be sincere, man. You can't just be acting you're not playing a role no you have to apologize to tati for actually almost like well not almost like backstabbing her man like using her i don't know man but like i said the time i'm recording this he's lost over 1 million subs in 24 hours like uh yesterday friday he lost over 500,000 subscribers and today, uh, Saturday, he's lost, again, 500,000 subscribers, which is now a million. 
uh, he lost 1.1. Uh, I hope, I think, no, I hope, my bad. I think it's 1.2 now, but James Charles, this could or maybe is the end for James Charles. Uh, also, uh, I saw a drama alert. Uh, he, uh, Keemstar said that some boys that he he's said about are underage. But like Keemstar said, I don't think it's a big deal because he's 19. But uh, some beauty shops gurus will see this and probably um, cut the line with James Charles, like Keemstar said. But yeah. James Charles, man, I'm sorry, you don't deserve this, man, but Tati didn't deserve getting backstabbed, but I'm sorry, everybody, (sighs) damn, man, this is so, like, unbelievable, I didn't, like, the last person I thought that wouldn't do it is James Charles, because James Charles is not the type that get in drama, I guess, but what am I going to say, man? Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Uh, if you guys did, uh, I would appreciate you if you guys did leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications if you never miss a new video. And yeah, um, everybody, uh, everyone's link will be in the description. Uh, Tati, uh, James Charles, and Keemstar. Um, yeah, peace out, man. Peace out, everybody.